Hello everybody again from Simply Foodia YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your great comments and let's continue our uh, processes risk assessment. Now the packaging of the bottles as sorry as here about the uh, our flow diagram the packaging of the uh, or the packing of the uh, bottles and arranging on pallets and proper storage and proper distribution. So we'll continue today about the packing. Also, there is no any possible uh, hazards. The HACCP team decided this. And the arranging of HACCP, sorry, arranging of the pallets. We'll see the uh, issue from this processes. Okay. The physical hazard may be due to the breakage in the packaging while placing the product on the pallet by the uh, palletizer by the uh, uh, forklift in the warehouses so uh, the proper uh, trading program for the product not the proper only trading but also the proper stacking and proper stacking of your products on pallets so there is no need for decision three questions because it's not significant risk on the food safety standard there is, and the chemical hazard also maybe there is chemical hazard from contamination but outside the bottle by uh, maybe there is leak uh, after the uh, break of the bottle so it will be leak and the leak will be distributed to the other uh, bottles and by time it will be uh, contaminated and make uh, offensive odor in your warehouses so the proper stacking and proper warehouses uh, monitoring sorry and proper warehouses monitoring you must mention when the finished product are uh, sorry, when the finished product are tracked and who are uh, responsible for the follow up of the uh, pallets in the warehouses and final the microbiological hazard And the final, the biological hazard or the microbiological hazard, either is vegetative spore forming, vegetative pathogen or spore forming pathogen. Also the same as the uh, chemical hazard. So the proper follow up of our finished product is very important to avoid any contamination in the warehouses and the proper GWP uh, processes. Maybe there will be contamination from pests in your warehouses so it's very important this is arranging on pallets it's a mechanism uh, part the physical hazard is very rare to our uh, filled bottles and the chemical hazard due to this is very also uh, important the storing process for our products the chemical hazard maybe due to uh, improper storage conditions maybe the HACCP team decide that severity will be too it depends on your HACCP team decision okay and also maybe storing of the uh, ke different chemicals as cleaning agents or pesticides and your improper uh, sorry improper storage of these chemicals <clears throat> on in your warehouses so it will cause some kind of tainting to your product maybe uh, odor maybe uh, whatever any uh, chemical hazard okay so all the cleaning agents must be uh, properly stored and the pesticides also must be properly stored in this dedicated area to avoid the contamination so the uh, proper implementation of the good storage practices 
okay the chemical control program and the pest control program maybe it's good storage practices or good warehouses good warehousing practices GWP okay the storing is very process is very critical in the uh, food industry because you can control all the processes so let me uh, view it again you can control everything everything in this cycle in this flow diagram and in the storing process you didn't define the proper uh, storage temperature the proper storage cleaning the proper storage uh, follow up uh, with the proper storage FIFO which is first in first out or first entry first out so it's very important to control your storing uh, facilities the biological hazard or the HACCP team have decided that the probability are three and severity are two so it is in the middle significant risk so why HACCP team have decided this because very important topic the improper storage conditions and presence of pests in the warehouses and you have if you have seen the previous video uh, about the the significant uh, or the most famous food safety recalls in history you will define that there is very important relationship between the best improper pest management system and the contamination of the products and maybe this improper pest control management are in the warehouses so the proper storage temperature and the pest control i think this two items in any storage facility are very 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 critical to the food uh, safety uh, uh, procedures so the uh, control of this uh, also programs the proper implementation of this very very critical uh, prerequisite programs so it's in a very critical prerequisite programs so <clears throat> the improper storage uh, facilities can uh, make risk on the uh, your uh, facility so you must control all the physical hazard chemical hazard or biological uh, hazard maybe in this industry because it's uh, uh, filled bottles so there is no uh, significant uh, hazard from the uh, or significant physical hazard to our products but maybe in other industries there is possible physical hazard sometimes here in the storing or in the arranging of pallets uh, process some kind of uh, whatever it take uh, whatever i can say the pallet or the uh, racks system uh, there is sharp edges so there is possible contamination from uh, entering of this sharp edge to the your uh, final product package maybe so it is very critical to control the also the racking system we can also add it here about the physical hazard and the chemical hazard so why not uh, i can let me put it here also about the uh, sharp edges sorry from the racking system and the control are the racking system maintenance follow-up everything as I've mentioned before, there is uh, there is issue, so it must be there is control. And who will control the, for example, here the maintenance team? So you can mention also when uh, maintenance follow up um, each month, for example, each two months. Our maintenance team. This is the best. Um, structure of any hazard there is hazard there is reason there is control who will control when will control as i will mention after that about the monitoring of the oprp and ccp which is very critical in the uh, hazard principles 
okay so we have finished here the storing process risk assessment we will talk inshallah in the coming video about the distribution uh, process risk assessment which is also very critical from our simply food youtube channel the best food safety channel on youtube thank you so much and best of luck of all of you goodbye